selfie. Pose. Take a selfie. Pose. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys, you're welcome to Entertainment Recap with the Vibe Queen Omobola Bao. Yes, and you're tuned on to Afrobeat Global TV. And you know what we do on Entertainment Recap, yeah? Well, if you don't know what we do, I'm going to remind you again. So I bring to you the latest entertainment news. And today I have got super exciting news to share with you. So don't go nowhere. I'm going to go on a quick break so you can call your friends so you can watch this together. Let me go on a quick break and when I come back, I'll go straight into my gist for today. Don't go nowhere guys, I'll be right back. Welcome back guys! Yes, it is still your favorite entertainment recap show, E-Recap with the Vibe Queen of Mobile Laval. And yes, you're tuned on to Afrobeat Global TV. Before the break, I said I have got exciting news to share with you. Entertainment news, of course. Now, remember I started this particular segment with a song, Peru Para. Yes, it was selected on purpose because we are celebrating our own Fireboy DML. Well, not just Fireboy, we're also celebrating Ed Sheeran because the remix of the song Peru by Fireboy and Ed Sheeran is currently topping the UK. It's topping in the UK, yes actually number one on apple music platform and fireboy tweeted saying number one hey oh my well, it's not easy thank you so much to ed sheeran that added more spice to peru yeah it's for some of us it's our favorite song so we're so excited <laughs> okay guys still talking about celebrities making us proud well recently the band and his beautiful wife celebrated the birthday the first year birthday of their daughter Grace. Hmm. Now I am particularly excited about this news because remember that some time ago um, a sad occurrence happened in the band's family where he lost a very cute son and ever since then I mean God has been so good to his family because you know he has replaced with beautiful kids and now his daughter was actually um, celebrated um, a few days ago as she celebrated her first birthday and it was super amazing because both daddy and mommy were present and guess what daddy and mommy did not just you know um, stay there acting up like mommy and daddy they actually came down to the level of the kids because Devan and his wife they were both dressed in a fluffy red mini skirt I mean it was super exciting to watch him uh, move around in that skirt and act alongside the kids and play games with them it was super fun to watch and I am so sure that their kid had an amazing time now guys on to the next one hmm. Omo Agolovo, Agolovo, and I'm saying this because of no other than Simi and Adekule Gold. Hmm. Remember those two, if you've been following them perfectly, you know that once in a while they throw shades at each other. I mean, not just shades to cut spite to, I mean romantic shades. So recently, remember that over the weekend, Nigeria was playing against um, Sudan. And guess what? Adekunle Gold was tweeting the scores, appreciating those that were scoring the goals and all of that. And after he tweeted about a goal, you know, Simi just immediately tweeted, replied his tweet and said, see, imagine this one. Oh. So you are shouting goal, you are watching football, me and here mixing your songs for you. I mean, fans of both of them were all over that particular tweet, laughing and, you know, shouting, oh, so sweet, cute couple and trust bloggers actually posted that tweet of both of them because it was so cute to read from both of them okay guys now on to my next news hmm. now this is um on one of um the females in the entertainment industry doing great things and this is no other than mo abudu the ceo of ebony live studios hmm. now guys if you've been very active on social media you would Remember that after Chief Daddy was launched on Netflix and people watched, there were mixed reactions. Some people were like, what is this? Why did I waste my data? In fact, for me personally, I was pushed to watch the movie because 
people were, you know, backlashing and tweeting negative comments about it. So I really wanted to see what the movie was because it had a lot of amazing actors. And I was like, wait, is it that these people do not know good movies or is this movie really bad? Well, people said a lot of things and after I watched, yes, I have my own comments. I mean, I expected more considering the, the amazing people in the movie. But guess what? Ah, Moabudu stole the hearts of many again. As she actually acknowledged through a video and caption on her page recently, stating that, well, she's so sorry for um, disappointing some people that acknowledge the good works that she's been doing. And she said she acknowledges the fact that there are negative comments and feedbacks. And she hopes that people are sending this because they want the best from her and her team. And she also reminded people about, you know, some of the other great works that she has done. So to remind some of you that, well, this might not be the best, but remember, I also have given you great stuff in the past. And guess what? She actually assured people that she has brought in uh, more members to the creative team in our company so that, you know, henceforth, there's so many greater, amazing stuff that will be put out there from Ebony Life Studio. Hmm, we are so, so proud of Moabudu because he takes a very, very, I mean, humble and determined person to acknowledge such comments and come out to address her fans. Okay, guys, so um, my next gist, which happens to be my last gist for this particular episode, well, it's not particularly exciting. It's not even exciting at all because it refers to the insecurity currently faced in Nigeria. I mean, and it's really getting terrible. So recently, one of the actors in Nollywood posted on our social media platforms that she and her daughter just survived a very terrible bandit attack along Lagos Ibadan Way. I mean, I think she said Onigari to be precise. And I'm talking about no other actor than Akin Tunde Adebinke. Hmm. So this is really sad because she said recently, one influencer also mentioned that something similar happened last week Tuesday. And this happened to her too. So according to her, they were driving, um, approaching Lagos when they noticed that these bandits were dressed in um, army costumes and they were shooting directly at the cars approaching the road. They were not even shooting into the air for God's sake. They were shooting directly at the cars. She said luckily for her, she, she reversed, she was able to reverse and got took perfect control of the situation. She went back to Ibadan and then she was safe with her daughter. But I mean, this is really sad because a lot of people ply Lagos Ibadan expressly. So we are pleading with our government to please look into the insecurities in, the, in this particular country. It is getting way out of hand and people are not safe anymore. We can't be here to lose our celebrities or even the ordinary man because a lot of people ply that road. I mean, just the beginning of the year, I was lost notable people with lost um, and a shone con, we've lost the former governor of your state, Alao Akala. We really do not want to keep mourning this way, especially for, for things that can be avoided. So we're pleading that these insecurity issues should be looked into. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular episode of Entertainment Recap with the Vibe Queen. Hmm. I wish you a great week. Do have an amazing week. Yes, remember that. It is not too late to start. So please get up, start something, start afresh, and then have an amazing week. Okay, guys, before I go, please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not, drop a comment, and yes, please follow us on our social media platforms at Afrobeat Global. And yes, you can follow the Vibe Queen on our personal social media platforms at Omobola underscore Val. Hmm. You know what I always say, guys? Stay safe. COVID is still out there. And you know, I love you. Thank you.